everyone. What's up? Well, as you already know, we're in the bathroom, and you know what this means. So, uh, yesterday I went to the amusement park. I had a fun time. I post. I have a video on it. Let me know if you want to make it. Um, I got some nice, cool shots on some of our roller coasters. Anyway, so today is going to be a very, very busy day. Uh, right now, it's nine o'clock a.m. Going to be doing this video. Uh, going to do my lawn clients and then the feeding video. So I noticed yesterday that, oh yeah by the way I did get some new scorpions yesterday. I'll be showing you that at the end of the video. My centipedes have now reached their second instar stage. Uh, so I did promise someone that I was going to make a video on separating these. I just noticed them yesterday. I keep saying yesterday a lot. So, it's time to separate them one by one from the mommy. Hmm. Okay, so... The very first thing I'm going to do is, of course, take out all the decor from the ter terrarium. I'm going to make a big mess in the process, so I'm going to have to vacuum that up after I'm done. And I'm going to proceed to take one of my plastic shoe boxes and carefully remove the substrate. So I'm going to do that until I get to that part where I know where the centipedes are. The centipedes are there, so I'll just cut off the video right now. Okay, so there they are. Okay, so I'm trying to fish them out one by one. We got a few of them in here. I'm actually gonna get the smaller tongs. So yeah, basically I'm separating them so that way they have less surface area to actually catch them. Okay, I'm gonna go get a little small tongs and start getting some pill vials. Put some substrate in there, soak it, and that'll be it. Alright, there is one of the babies. You can see kind of looks like mommy. And it's a good idea to give centipedes taller pill jars so that they don't escape. Okay, so a numero uh, I think I might need to give them little deli cups. Trouble is, I don't really have any. Alright, so let me fish up the second one. Okay. Okay, I have to do this really delicately. Oh, there's another one. Well, that kind of failed. All right. Yeah, that's something I didn't want to happen. Yeah, there we go. There's one. Yeah, see, he's trying to biting. There we go. Not as easy as that. Two. Mother's still in there, so I'm gonna have to get her out. All right, so it looks like I found Big Mama. There's Mommy. Doesn't look too, too happy. Actually. What I'll do is I'll take bigger tongs. Oh, come, on. come on, it's okay. doing very well. Okay, so far I have five babies so far. But a lot of the horde is around that corner. Okay, so I'll show you another one, how I transfer. So... What I generally do is I put in enough substrate in here, soak it with water, Just allow the bottom layers to get wet. 
can see that. That is how you should hydrate your tarantulas and your spiderlings. And there we go. And now, trying to find a good one. Okay, so, I always take like increments with my hands. Take small increments, just push it to the side, and usually get substrate for the next one. I haven't seen any yet. But I know the horde is right over here at the corner. That's where I saw the most of them. Oh, there it is. There they are. Alright, this is number 14. And they're just trying to make a break for it, but they're kind of fast for, for little guys. And there we go. And it's that simple. Well, it's not too, too bad. Cool. So right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And counting. Wow, you certainly are a dugger. Alright, so it all comes down to the last five and then the mommy. Number one. So close, but there we go. Now, all I have to do is uh, to feed them well, and then I'll start selling them. However, it's only to Canada, everyone, because I don't have permits to deal with uh, the U.S. and the uh, and the overseas. Sorry about that, guys. I would, I could. There's another one. Oh, they're so cute. No, they're actually, it is an okay enclosure. They look to be around the inch mark compared to the adult that's about eight inches. Two more. This ordeal took me about 45 minutes to do. Now, I don't have much substrate for the Mombi because I used most of it for the sling, so this is just going to be temporarily. And when I return, I'll add some more in there. Alright, done. Now this is how many Scolopendra alternans that I have. I've counted exactly 42. You are a dugger and a half. I mean double than that. 20 kids and counting. <laughs> so this is 42 kids. Alright. So the mom won't be featured in the feeding video because uh, of course she's a bit stressed. And I'll feed her tomorrow. I'll try to make a feeding video of that. Alright. Actually, you know what? The smart thing to do. There we go. Wow, nice ordeal. Thank you so much for producing these lovely babies. So that is the video of separating 42 centipedlings of Scolopendra alternans, the giant Haitian centipede. Amazing. Oh yeah. Did forget to show you. That new surprise, new additions I got will be featured in uh, 
today's feeding video. Alright, Daniela. That's my El Parahibana. Oh, there we go. Not one, but two Heteromateris spinifer, the Asian forest scorpion. I've got a big five gallon tank, so I don't know if uh, that's good enough, or maybe I should go with the ten. Maybe I should add a little bit more substrate for the burrow, but that's what I got from the flea market, believe it or not. They were selling them for $15 each compared to a pet store, which they usually double it. So anyway, everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go back to work, and then when I come back, I'll make the feeding video. Sweet.